Using a Tesla style bar circuit, I hit to the stop. to the style five fish. Just want to show you. Using a Tesla style bar circuit, I have a inch and a half piece of granite, carbon electrode, nitrile O-ring separation, nitrile O-ring separation. I just want to show you there's an amplification process with regard to electric input and surface area. So we have a very large carbon four by six input here, the six by six piece of um, granite and basically um, a one inch thick piece of carbon electrode and what you'll see is an amplification where the electrical current is expanded to the width of the conductive area so even with a very small input area there's a very large output area and here we go we'll activate the circuit you can see the input circuit there the output circuit is manifold infinitely wider so what we're seeing here is a very interesting phenomenon that even with a relatively small surface area of input we have an extraordinarily large output of extrapolation of that input energy so the piezoelectric oscillation of the granite crystalline structure serves to function as a very very nice amplification of the input area so again, we see an order of magnitude larger surface area of input to output. And therein lies a very characteristic phenomenon that how a very relatively small input into the milieu of our crustal surface could impart an extraordinarily large output of effect. And again, it spans the entire width of the carbon electrode through the granite, through a one and a half inch thick piece of granite. So you see an amplification of surface area to output area and subsequent resultant power dissipation. So it's very easy to see how a very small input could exacerbate a very large output of phenomenon resultant in things such as earthquakes or otherwise. So for what it's worth, just want to show you this is a very interesting phenomenon. Thanks for watching.